what can I say, but the fucking elite four and the student council are fucking manly as fuck. So when we start, Sasuke, uh, Sasuke says, yo, the student council needs a fresh start. For the next seven days, you go reach the schoolyard and be alive. And if you live and you get that, I'll give you Goku uniforms. And whilst that happens, you can do whatever the fuck you want. And she like makes up like a little shield so no one goes in and tries to attack Sasuke. And pretty much I guess it's like a week off for people to either like, you know, do whatever the fuck they want or train. And you see that the whole fucking town is a war zone. And pretty much the Elite Four saying uses this as personal time. I'm saying, yeah, we, we, we have, we have the fucking Elite Four. We can do it one. And I just love that um, uh, Ida um, in this episode of Gira Gori or something. I can never pronounce his last name or his first name. But... When you see him, he's like, well, fuck, I'm going for a drive. The guy just goes off running saying, I'm going to become, like, Sasuke's chauffeur. And while this is happening, it's just, like, everything is just going crazy, like, in town. Like, everyone beating the shit out of each other and decided to do it way too fucking early. But then you see, um, like, uh, Mako and Ryoko go out. And they, they actually go back to um, Ryoko's home, and she actually tells them about... That she, her mother uh, died. She also explained that about her father, and she pretty much never saw her father. That she pretty much at grade school she moved into the dorms, and she ended up turning into a delinquent because no one was really there to tell what to do, and she got picked on at the start. And then you see that her father was supposed to try and give her a message saying, you know, you want to find out who murdered you if you want to take this path, or you can just walk away right now. And that sort of gave Lyoko the reason why she wants to, you know, fucking fight in the first place. And they break down, and they actually get a lift from um, Gamagori, because he's a fucking man and boss. He's like saying, I'm not going to attack you. You know, I'm a man to my word. I will face you. I want a battleground for us to fight in, in the, like, um, when we get back to school. And pretty much they get, like, drive-by by these students from, like, the Airsoft Club and, like, the Motor Club. Um... And pretty much for that, we get to see a little preview of what his Goku uniform is, which is the shadow. I like that all of them are called Regalia, because they keep reminding me of their gear, and it's like, I fucking love Regalia. And then he reveals his shackle Regalia, which we only saw a bit of. There was What I really liked is that they're only showing bits of it, so they're like, I ah, will preview it like here and there, but we're going to leave you to like in the next episode to see what it's going to be. And you see that it's a bondage outfit, and he's like, oh yes, hit me more so I can unleash my power, and he's like, okay. And you see the flashback as well of how um, Gamagori and Sasuke met, and pretty much she was a first year, he was a third year, and these kids were like telling this other one to jump off and kill himself, because they had power, he's like, one of the kids I think owned, the, like, the father was like the owner of the factory, and the other one was like, her father was a police officer, and Sasuke used her power to actually buy him out and actually cause um, the other one to retire because of bribery, uh, and pretty much saved the kid. And uh, Gamagori is like, how does that make you any different from the others? She's saying, I will use this power, but then I shall make it my own, and then I will absorb everything around me. And that was still how they met, and that was all some badass stuff. And then you see him, like, that's how we met. And he transforms, like, has a second transformation to his thing called the Scourge Regalia. And it's like, oh my god, it looks so fucking sick. He has, like, this anel ring around him and stuff. Like, you only see in the shadows and you just see, like, flames everywhere. It looks sick. But at the end of the episode, they arrive back and they climb these fire towers, um, what uh, Sasuke makes them. And Ryoko and the Elite Four are waiting up on the top and the Elite Four propose to Sasuke that we all want to fight Lyoko one at a time and Gamagori starts off saying let's get this shit started and it just looks like this is going to be some fucking crazy stuff going now and kill the kill really good setup really like the backstory and just Gamagori is a man but he's a creepy motherfucker and it was kind of scary to find out that he's 20 and that he holds himself just so he could graduate alongside um, Sasuke so a little bit weird, but overall, like, he's a boss. Um, I think he's a fucking man, although he's into some kinky shit, but, you know. That's, uh, I give this episode as, like, a solid 8. This was a really enjoyable episode. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. But that's all for me, and once thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, Strava Panda, sign out, and I'll see you guys next time.